Well, hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to the Holtz Mitchell channel and another episode of Hot Shop Tips. Uh, recently, I bought a brand new pair of boots, a pair of whites. Here's a picture right here. So, the problem is with these boots, they're well, it's not really a problem, it's just one of the characteristics. They take a little time to break in. Of course, anybody that's worn all leather, real leather boots knows what I'm talking about. And uh, there's various ways you can break them in. Now, the thing about whites is when I put them on, I can buy off the rack. <clears throat> I got a weird size and uh, they're one of the few companies that actually make a boot my size, which is a 10 double F. And so, um, the fit is pretty good right off the get-go, but I have a Tophus. Here's a picture right here. On my foot, and so part of the boot gets a little hard on the old Tophus. So how do you deal with that? Well, when I bought my last pair, they had a pair of, I don't know what kind of tongs they are, or you know, some kind of tool that they can stretch that part out with. And so the fit was just perfect right off the get-go. This pair I bought through the mail. Um, it came in, fit wonderfully, but there again, that problem with the Tophus. So how to deal with that? Well, let's take a look at what we're doing right here. So that is a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Now this stuff that I have is some kind of other off-brand from DM, um, supposedly out of some kind of plant alcohol, uh, supposedly ethyl, but uh, I'm guessing there's some methyl in here too because it has that smell to it. The best thing to use is uh, isopropyl alcohol. It makes the leather a little softer without stretching it out of shape and that kind of thing. And then when you wear the, once you wet the boot down, wear it dry. Um, you know, when you start up in the morning, water them down good. Uh, make sure that, um, I'll show you that clip again, right here. Now make sure the, the leather is saturated to where it, there's a nice sheen on it. And then that way, once the leather won't absorb anymore, then you know, okay, leather saturated, time to put the boot on and wear it dry. So anyway, that's the hot shop of the hot shop tip of the day from the Holtz Mitchell channel. Uh, for those of you who are looking to buy a brand new pair of boots um, and break them in without doing any damage to them. Now, some guys, they like to pee on them. That's actually a way that they actually break in a boot. I don't recommend it because, well, it's mostly water. And so alcohol is, you know, also a large constituent of water, but nevertheless, the alcohol component in there uh, prevents the leather from shrinking on you as it dries. So um, other people, they walk through the water with them and then wear them dry. You can do that. It leaches the um, preservatives out of the leather, so it's not recommended that you do it with just pure water. The alcohol, uh, for some reason, um, it 
it does something to the leather that makes it soft and makes it expand without leaching everything out of it. Although you'd think that alcohol being a, a pretty good solvent would just really take everything out, but for some reason it doesn't. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys were able to glean a little something out of that. And um, hope to see you back again soon. If you have any thoughts, comments, critiques, or suggestions, by all means put it in the comment section below. And we'll see you all again soon. Mm -hmm.